quickly on your sector style or the sector style that is industrials XLI. If I had to pick one thing, I mean, I picked two things actually this morning and, you know, the title of the note says, um, by, it doesn't say buy gold miners. It says buy gold. There, there's a difference. Um, and gold miners, as you can see, the signal on that is still bearish trend this morning. Um, but it says, you know, and it says buy gold, buy tech and buy protection. You know, the protection piece was to buy puts on, the two best places to buy puts this morning are actually your sector and Rob's. Uh, I was going to hit on that with Rob, but he's not on the, um, but yeah, he's not going to say anything different and neither will you. I mean, it's just a better price. So XLI has a deep implied volatility discount now with it right around the top end of its range. So you're looking for those types of things. What that means is that people aren't buying protection. That's why I like to buy what I like to buy what people aren't buying, which is gold and protection this morning. Everyone, of course, owns tech and there's a lot of risks associated with buying it. Anytime you buy anything at the top end of the range, which tech's getting closer to. So don't do that. Uh, but on XLI, it's, it's like amazing. I mean, you get this whole earnings season, uh, you get stocks have collapsed in your world um, and continue to, I mean, deer looks like, 10 pounds of shit in a one pound bag. I mean, these things are horrible, but, but the street has been forced to after seven days of up, which really hasn't been up the breadth on the sector styles. I mean, you can see it on the bongo board here. If Gendron shows it, I mean, the breadth has been terrible. Um, You know, 58% of stocks were down on the quote unquote up day yesterday. Uh, Intermittently, the market was down, but the Russell was actually down yesterday for the second day in a row. All of global equities are down for the second day in a row, but you have this dynamic where, when you're getting squeezed on the index or you're chasing your performance bogey that you take your protection off or you don't buy it. I mean, to me, Jay, that's like nuts. I mean, if you were ever going to buy protection into a recession, you buy it on industrials <laughs> and you buy it today. That's why it says it in the title of the early look. So I don't know. I guess I'm just looking for maybe a reaction on how surprising this opportunity is, how pleasantly surprising. Well, yeah, I mean, there, there might be ambiguity about, some other sectors in terms of what's going on in the the macro environment i mean but uh you know in our in our show uh last friday we went through all of the things that make it incredibly clear that there is uh an industrial contraction underway i mean we've even seen supply chain indicators go completely slack you know um which reduces urgency across the board pricing flexibility uh, whether it's you know transport data, uh, order data, but really whatever it is, uh, the backlog trends, um, even uh, more globally, as you point out, uh, you've seen uh, Europe, obviously an industrial contraction, uh, orders in uh, South Korea, Japan, right? Wherever we look, uh, industrial distributor orders, which we did yesterday or two days ago, I mean, we just see these uh, indicators falling out of bed as we go through September, October. Uh, So in terms of the the cyclical components of the industrial sector, I don't think it's that subtle. The weird thing is, as you point out, like some of the um, less cyclical parts of the industrial sector are not overbought, right? Like (laughs) they're interestingly, you know, looking okay. Like some of the defense names, uh, some of the miners, things like that. Um, And they tend to behave you know, more uh, defensively in a, um, uh, you know, in, a, in an industrial contraction in an adverse macro environment. So, yeah, I think it's an interesting opportunity and that's, that's great. Like that's alpha. If it were the other way, that would be kind of unfortunate. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.